Welcome everybody. Day five, 90 days to 1 million Naira challenge. Thank you for watching the first four videos. Thank you for watching this one. So um, we've treated market research. We've done justice to that. And today we're going to start on a new phase of the 90 days to 1 million Naira challenge journey. And today, today's video is going to be based on creating your first product. So you've gotten um, all this data about your clients. You've gotten all of this data. You've gotten um, uh, based on your on your market the people that you want to target in your topic you've gotten all of this data you've done your research you've done all of that now you need to start creating the product the product that you are going to give them all right so what you do is um a, a couple of things um there are about six um, things you need to do that's um, one two three four five six all right that you need to do to create your product so um, the first thing is you need to create or determine your creative angle uh, you need to choose either a female persona or a male persona now depending on the product that you are that you are selling to depending on the product you may decide to sell it like you're a female or like you're a male you know because depending on your topic depending on your um your your ideas that will determine whether you you are going to connect with your market or not now especially for you know topics that have to do with um relationships okay for example i can decide to come from female persona i can decide to disguise myself as a female writing to other females because i may think that it will be easier for me to connect to them that way now by the way this is not illegal it is called um i think uh, the phrase is auto license or poetic license i can't remember the name now but i know it's not illegal you can assume a name you can assume a persona it is perfectly legal you can even assume it a title you can call yourself reverend you can call yourself doctor you can call yourself anything you want to the only thing is that you cannot for example say you are doctor this and then go ahead and start dispensing medical advice when you are not a real doctor now that is illegal okay so um so for number one you need to create your your creative angle for a lot of your topics don't worry so much about this for a lot of your topics it really doesn't matter so much you can go ahead and you know use your normal voice use your normal persona it doesn't matter you know for our case, I may I may think that it's going to be easier for me to to um, assume a female persona, but I'm not going to assume a female persona. I'm going to assume a male persona. I'm going I'm going to come from the angle of I am a guy. I understand these things. I know what guys do, and I know why guys do not want to marry women. And I can help you if you listen to me. So that's the angle I'm going to be coming from. Now remember that whatever persona that you use is the same persona that you are going to be using in that marketing. You are going to be using um, the same tone in your marketing. You are going to be using the same voice in your marketing. All right. Now number two is you need to find similar books. Okay. So what topic are you going to write on? What books have been written on that topic already? So you need to go find. Um, books on that topic okay so there are different places you can find books on that topic you can find them on google you can find them on on clickbank and you can find them on on amazon okay so um 
then number three is you don't need to gather your content you need to to put the content of your your, your information product together okay and there are three ways you can do that you can do it yourself which is diy so you are going to start creating everything from scratch so you put out everything that you know about the topic you know everything that you've gotten from your research you put it together or you can buy plr products on that topic there are plr products on that topic and you get those plr products and basically just tweak them you know plr products are private label rights products so basically somebody somewhere has already created a product on that topic and is selling the license to it the only challenge with plr products is that you are not the only one buying it hundreds and hundreds of other people are buying it also because the buying it gives them the license to claim it as their own work so what you need to do with plr is that when you buy it don't just use it as is okay try to tweak it try to add your own content to it and um, and that's how you go with that number three is ghostwriting so you can use ghostwriters to also create your content put your content together gather them and create it so basically you are paying somebody to write about that topic for you so you can put together a table of contents and say guy guys okay this is what i want you to write about so that person goes does research finds information based on the table of contents that you have given them and then creates the book for for you so in uh, in this case i'm going to be using a ghostwriter i've already paid a ghost uh not paid sorry i've already contacted a a ghostwriter who has already worked on the topic for me and um is somebody who is very very vast in that field and i'm going to take that content that she has created i'm going to do some more research of my own then i'm going to add it to that content that um, she has written for me all right and then number four is you need to decide your product format so which format is your product going to be is it going to be an ebook is it going to be a print book is it going to be video course is it going to be an audio course is it going to be memberships so membership is means that it's going to contain one or more of any of the four above all right so um is it going to be a webinar or a live event so you need um to do that so now let's go um to number five so you need to start now start building your table of content what is going to be in in um the contents so you're going to start looking at similar books and similar courses that's the reason why if you needed to find out what books that people have already written around that topic and see what you can borrow from the creative borrowing not stealing of course not plagiarism okay you want to see what content that uh, they already have and then model your own content and build your own around what you find okay or if uh, uh, and that is just number six which is you now start fleshing out the content you now start fleshing it out so uh, based on that sort of content that you've, you've created you start fleshing it out and then um, start adding those that content to your chapters and your models so now we are going to go online and i'm going to start showing you exactly the nitty-gritty details of how to actually do this so let's go all right all right everybody so we are on amazon right now and, um, and we are here this is where we are okay so we want to find similar books we want to find books that a lot of people have written on the topic i want to see what they've written about i want to look at it and then you know build my own from it so like i said earlier 
Um, I already have a ghostwriter who has already written their book for me, but I also want to do some personal research of my own to you know, add more content to what this person has written. And also, I want to, you guys to see how the process um, is done. All right, so we're here. Um, I'm in my Amazon account. Um, don't worry about these numbers you see here. It's the stuff that I have in my cart. And um, so I'm going to type a uh, keyword dating for women. Okay, so dating for marriage. So let's see dating for marriage. Okay. Dating for Marriage, A Woman's Guide to the Through the Dating Process. Understanding men, showing know what he's really thinking, showing him you're the one, you're the one, why men pull away, why he's afraid to commit, how to read him like a book. Okay. Okay, so we're going, we're going, we're going. Okay, so, um, so Christian dating relationships, then, okay, so, all right, let me change this to dating for women. Remember the keywords you are going to be using are keywords that are related to your topic all right so the smart woman's guide to being absolutely irresistible tell the Tao of dating to date a man you must understand the man the case to catch a great guy okay Men don't love women like you. The brutal truth about dating. Okay, let's see. Why men love bitches? From doormat to to dream girl. Hmm, I like that title. Why men love bitches? Okay. Fuck him. Nice girls always finish single. A guide for such women who want to get back in control of their love life. Okay, all right, that's enough. Okay, so now the good thing with Amazon is that Amazon lets you look inside the book. So I'm going to click on paperback. Paperback is the print version of the book. Now, Amazon lets you look inside these books, and um, okay, this doesn't have a paperback, so I have to click. So you can click on the look. This is the look inside button, so you can click on it, and if it's a print book, you can see the table of contents. So, so we can click on it, and we want to see this dating for marriage, do's and don'ts to get married. What is the concept of a man dating versus being in, in a relationship? Disrespect versus insecurity, conduct to expect from a man, what men need, avoid mistakes that destroy relationships, men are braggarts, ha 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 ha, is it true guys, are men braggarts, I actually agree men are braggarts, reasons why men marry, hmm, why well, you're not married, okay, his character flaws that won't lead to marriage, he won't change, Red flags that he is not the one. Bad reasons to marry. All right, so let's see this one. This is the beginning. Okay, so this is the table of contents for this one. Understanding men. Want to know what he's really thinking. Understanding the man that wants to capture your heart. Why men need distance and how not to push him away. Three types of male commitment. How to make him crave you and keep his attention. 
why men cheat and how you can prevent it. Thou dating, okay, let's click on paperback and then let's look inside. Okay. How to become irresistible. Foundations of the Tao. We really are. So this is more about um, inner confidence, not so much about the guy. All right. So I want books that are about the guy itself. Okay. To get your money, must understand the man. Keys to catching a great guy. So, to convey understanding men, your new game plan. Tango, how to power it. Keep potential pennies in the jar. Is it the one? Men don't love women like you. Okay. you but he's not in love with you deep lies <clears throat> how to use a man's mind against him how to become a game changer how to attract men without even trying date night domination mastering the first dates okay Why men love bitches? Over one million copies sold. You see, this is a best selling book from Dormat to Dream Girl. <clears throat> Table of contents. When women give themselves away and become needy, what to do when he takes you for granted and nagging doesn't work? Okay, um, 15 signs that a woman is needy, 15 reasons men play it cool, 15 things that turn men off, 15 reasons men prefer a fiesta woman, 10 ways to tell whether a man is in love. Wow, I like this book. I like this book. This survival guide for women who are too nice. I love this one. And then this one is fuck him. Nice girls finish, always finish single. All right, let's see. So table of content again. Why men find the good girl or the nice girl repelling? 
The high value woman never plays games. The woman every man respects and never takes for granted. Probation period. Hmm. I like this one too. I like this one too. How to avoid getting played. I like this one too. Okay, so and so the next thing we can use is Google. So um, it's in the books for women. So 15 must read books. So um, if you type in Google, we're using Google now. So we've done Amazon, we're doing Google now before we do click click bank, all right? Uh-huh. So 10 must read dating books. Oh, let's say dating for married books for women. Oh, okay, no, no, let me go back. Just okay, so let's see this one and then let's see this one. Come on, internet, stop acting up. Okay, I think it's coming back now. Yeah. It's coming back. Okay, so act like a lady, think like a man. Steve Harvey. I think I think this book even has a movie. Wow. What men really think about love, relationships, intimacy, and commitment. This this book actually has uh, actually has um, a movie. Because I remember that I've seen a movie with that title, The Power of the Pussy. If men are dogs, this is animal control. How to get what you want from men, love, respect. Hmm, interesting. All the rules, time tested secrets for capturing the heart of Mr. Wright. How come Steve Harvey is writing a lot of books on finding a man? Dude, what's up? Okay, so let me see this. I like the title, so let me search for it and see whether I can find it on Amazon. Are you the one for me? Knowing who is right and avoiding who is wrong. Mars and Venus on a date. John Gray. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys a story about John Gray. Remind me, please. Uh, it's not a flattering story, but um, remind me. Marry him. The case for settling from, from Mr. Goodenough. How to spot a dangerous man before you get involved. Mm. The Dow of Dating, we saw this one earlier. Why men love bitches, we saw it earlier too. Why him and why her? How to make anyone fall in love with you? He's just not that into you. All the rules. So, this is. This one, I want to see the table of contents on on Amazon. Yeah. 
when to know how to know when you're dating a loser choosing me before we okay all right so this is the book here okay so look inside table of contents so I want to see be a creature unlike any other don't talk to a man first don't stand at me or talk too much don't meet him halfway a good lunch a good dodge on the day don't call him and rarely return his calls always end phone calls first so okay these are the rules I like this book. I love it. I love it. Okay. So guys, um, so that's it for for um, for that. And let's look at ClickBank. So I showed you guys some ClickBank products um, yesterday. So um, instead of just searching ClickBank again, I'm just gonna go catch him and keep him the rule of contents or. Oh catch him and keep him review so i'm going to search for the reviews so these are products that we saw on clickbank in the previous video all right so i'm just going to um, check out the reviews Then we have capture his heart, Michael Fury review. Okay, that was another product that we found on Clickbank. Capture his heart, how to make me love you. all right so um so we're going to look at um, um these reviews so this is the one for christian kate carter so um catch him and keep him is divided into three parts part one finding the hidden secrets to success with men part two feelings part three actions okay All right. This is where all the theory is put into action. How to attract men, personality traits, 
and so on and so forth. He says, closes the book with very solid practical tips from how to start a conversation to the secret button which makes men reveal what they really think and feel. Okay, so so that's that. And then this is for for capture his heart and make him love you forever. Okay, and this is the Michael Fury digital romance product. Okay, he wrote it with this lady. So this lady actually doesn't exist. This is actually a name if that Michael Fury assumed, just like I talked about earlier. And in fact, Michael Fury is even an assumed name also. The guy's real name is Chris Haddad. He's actually a copywriter who decided to start creating products in the dating for women niche. So his real name is not Michael Fury. His real name is Chris Haddad. So he assumed the Michael Fury name and then he, he has also assumed the Claire Casey name um, to write to women. So now it's giving me all of these ideas. So now I'm here and I'm thinking, okay, um, do I also create like a female, a female creator name that I can use and say, you know, Anthony, Anthony um, Douglas and Kemi, whatever, whatever. So, you know, as the authors of the problems, because I don't want it to be just women, a uh, guy staying alone and, and and because of it turn off a lot of women so i'm going to make it be like a guy and a woman thing okay so that is what uh i am going to be to be doing so i'm going to create also a male a male and a female persona to sell this product all right so so that's it so that's it. Um, number three is, you know, do it yourself so you can now start creating the product by yourself. You can now start um, writing it together. So all of this stuff that, that we have gathered here, okay, all of this stuff, all of this table of contents, you take the ones that appeal to you, that, that stand out. Like I said, I like this particular book very, very well. And I also like this one, these rules. So what I can do is, for example, I can start taking all of this. Let me scroll back up to the beginning. All right. So, so this is the beginning. How, so for example, I can take this, um, what to do when he takes you for granted. How to convince him he's in control while you run the show. Mm. Okay, so I can now come to Google, for example, and I can say, um, I can say uh, how to convince a man you are. So this is me now creating the content you are in. How, how to know he is in control while you run the show. And this happens a lot. Have you ever seen, you know, uh, where people say things like, "Oh, you know what, uh, man, the the you know, women control the home, even though it's the man that is visible, but it's women that control the home." That is actually true. And the women who learn how to do this actually do very very well with their relationships. So, so this is an article about that. So I'm going to find this article about this topic that I got from here 
that I got from her how to convince him he's in control while he runs the show, right? So, so convince him that he's in control while he runs the show. The trade to relationships is making the guy think he's in control. He will automatically start doing things you want done because he will always want to look like the king. You need to make him feel like he's doing something great and make him feel like the alpha dog. He is the one who wears the pants and he is the man, but in reality, who is getting there where you are? Praise, praise, praise. This is the tool all men need when you want him to treat you right. One thing women can do is complain because then he doesn't feel like he should treat you like you want to be treated. Appear to a man in a soft and feminine way because he will most more likely appeal to protect you and not compete with you. And so on and so forth. So now I can take this entire article and then I'm going to repurpose it, right? So I'm going to copy it. I'm not plagiarizing, mind you. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to open up Notepad and I'm going to rewrite the entire thing in my own words. So uh, thankfully, if you understand English language, you can do this. It's, it's just, you know, you just write in your own words, please. Don't copy verbatim so i'm going to write this entire thing and there we go i have one of my chapters so i'm just going to take different you know chapters from the different books that i like for example in this one uh let's see how to slow how to become a high value woman for example, so I will take that from here, I will take from here, I will take from here, and I will use it to build out my own table of contents, right? So you use it to build out your own table of contents. You use the titles, create your own table of contents, and then start creating, get writing, and repurposing these articles that you, that, you, that you get. So you get the titles from the table of contents of other books, when you have enough at titles that you like, you use those titles, build out your own table of contents, and then use the table of contents that you have built out to to now um, put it in, in in Word or whatever you're using to type your content, and then start fleshing it out by building the contents to your chapters so the way you do it is is the way you do that is you take the title you go to google you search for the title you're going to find different different articles about it and then you look at all the different articles and then you copy them and you rewrite so you can combine from three places from four places from five places combine that same one article but different sources so you combine them together and rewrite and then you're going to have a totally new thing so that is how you build out your pages and your your, your pages or modules and all of that now when you are done when you are done you now decide your book format okay when you are done you decide your book format so so basically um you now decide your product format you now decide whether you want your book to be an ebook whether you want it to be a print book whether you want it to be a video if you want audio version so you have to re you have to read it and record it using software software like um um uh, audition okay or audacity okay so either of those software is going to work all right so so that's it that's um, what you do to create your product so once your product is done the next thing you need to do is your product presentation now what they say is don't judge a book by its cover but everybody judges books by, by its cover everybody judges a book by its cover 
All right. Um, you are going to need a website logo. You, you are going to need a website header. Uh, oh, you may also need um, a filter for your website, and then you are definitely going to need an e-cover for the product. Okay. So for a simple book, all you just need for the for is like a 3D front cover rendition. Okay. So we're going to, you just need something like this. Um, cover so you just need something like this you just need something like this basically not um, you can have something like this or you can have something like this or something like this or something like this okay that's if you are Going to publish just an an ebook, all right. Um, if you are doing a print book, of course you are going to need much more than this. You are going to need a book that will show the front and back cover of your of your book, okay. So if it's a book that you are going to print and you want to sell it online, you have to do better. You you are going to need something like this. So this is the front cover and this is the back cover. Okay, this is another one. This is the front cover and this is the back cover. And also when you're designing it, tell them also to, to, to give it to you. They're going to give you two images, just the front cover and then one that looks exactly like this so that you can have the two of them on the website. Okay, so you can see there's another one. Okay, this is another one. So that's that um, for print books. If you are doing a video or audio course, you need to show like a combination of CDs and tapes so that people will have an idea that it's not just an ebook book and it's not just a print book. That is going to, that is going to be video, audio, cost cover so so you're going to give people um like a combination so let's see all right so remove audio and let's see aha uh -huh. so you're going to need something like this so if you're doing like a video or audio course you're going to need something like this so you're going to need some the designer to design like the the casing of the CDs or the videos and then the individual CDs. So depending on how many models you have, so if you have five models, so they should do like five different CDs. So they're going to do a combination like this um, and then they're going to do the individual CDs separate one by one, okay? So you can see it says includes 16 video training modules. So you can see they, they number it one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, there's another one. Okay, Slum Dog Forex. There's another one. This is another one. Okay, this is another one. So you see, this one is a combination of books. These are the different books, and then they are corresponding audio programs. All right, and then for a live event, for a membership site, you're going to need to show commission of the CDs and the or a laptop. Okay, so let's see that um, to show them that it's a membership site. Membership site cover. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. This is like um, it's a, a ticket. You can use this for membership sites. You can also use this for for live events, right? The graphics for your membership site. So you can use this um, membership card. So you know it's designed to look like your ATM card. So something that gives you access to a vault, more or less. All right.
uh, let's see whether there is something aha uh -huh. there's another way you can design it also there's another way you can design it so so you can tell you need to tell the designer to design it like this so this basically means that people can assess with their with their laptops they can assess with their tabs they can assess with their mobile phones all right um this is another one and then of course live events you can show recognition of a ticket um live events um let's see live event graphics over so let's see Not even ticket graphics. Okay, let's say aha. Uh -huh. So this is so you can design something like this for your live events and say, okay, when you buy it, this is what you're gonna get, and blah blah blah. So you can see that. Okay, you can see that. So you can design something like this for your live events. So the next question is where are you going to design these things? Okay, um the first place to do, if you if you don't have a lot of money, the first place to go to is to go to Canva. Okay, so you go to you go to Canva, Canva.com. Okay, so on Canva, Canva has a lot of um, templates that you can use. So this is Canva, and you can you can basically. Um, you know, sign up with uh, uh, with Facebook if you want to. You can sign up with Facebook here if you don't have a Canva account yet, or you can log in with um, with Facebook. Okay, so you are going to have there are different templates that you can use to design. So for a logo, you can use this to design your logo. If you click here, that is more. It's going to show you how to the other different templates that you can use so you can scroll down if you want to design a book cover a print book cover you can use this you can do so also use this for ebook covers if you want to you can use this also any of this is going to work but you can't it's limited because you can't design for example cd covers here you can't do that all right, but you can you can create like ads you can create like um, logos so you can use any of this you can create flyers you can create gift certificates like the ticket thing you can do that but you can do is um, CD covers all right so so that's it that's the limitation with Canva okay and 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 the truth is, unless you're in a hurry or an, unless you're doing just an ebook, okay, I wouldn't recommend you use Canva. I would say you use the, the next option, which is Fiverr. Fiverr is cheap, okay, you can get things done for five dollars. You can get a lot of things done for five dollars. So, so this is Fiverr. And so basically you can see all of um, this so this is fiverr pro this is the pro side of fiverr but that it's a bit more expensive but you can join fiverr and you can look for cd cover for example if it's um cd cover you want so you can search for cd cover design so we search for it and it's going to show you all of the people that have 
cd covers as the, as their gigs so you can choose any of these guys and have them design your stuff for you okay so so look like this guy is this person says i will design a stunning cd dvd printed box or notebook in whatever okay so let's open that and see what that person is saying so you can see other people i can design a book cover for you so i can design um, professional series i can design software boxes dvd and cd covers so i got this person thirteen dollars so these are the different um people so so you can pay this person five dollars and this so for five dollars you can have this design for you really so they're just going to give you one 3d box one book and then the cd uh, dvd so but it's basically one item so you choose the one you want for five dollars okay and then for you but if you pay them ten dollars they're going to give you two a bundle of two of these items so they're going to give you a bundle so they'll combine it okay of course if you pay higher they're going to give you a bundle of three items and so on and so forth so you can just come here pay them even if it's just the ebook cover you want because they're going to design it and it will be finer than what you can do on canva so just pay them the five dollar basic choose the one you want and they're going to design it for you and send it to you so let's look at what this guy has um so order delivery and they will deliver it in 24 hours now that's fantastic so so the person is going to design this for you so in just four hours i can create stunning software boxes dvd and cd covers for five dollars you can message me what style you need the, and they will provide you with both png and jpeg files now oh, that is sweet okay and the good thing with fiverr is you can go through and see the different things that that person has done in the past different jobs that that person has done in the past so so these are this is what this person has done in the past so you can see so you can select until you see someone whose um, design you like the best and then you choose that person and pay them five dollar and they're going to design it for you if you have some more money you can you can go the pro the pro route okay so you can go the pro route and you can see um the different people who who are you know top pros and they're going to design your stuff for you okay so this is the pro side of things you can see that the prices are a bit higher okay you can see that the prices are a bit higher four hundred dollars a thousand five hundred dollars and so on and so forth okay you even have you even have the five dollar people still who also say they are they are pros okay so so that's that for fiverr or you can go to 99 designs 99 designs is a professional they are a lot better than fiverr okay they are they are a lot better than fiverr and but they are expensive they are expensive so you are going to need to have some money but they, are, they do very very solid um, jobs
all right so you can basically check what the what the uh, what jobs they have so this is for books so if we click on that it's going to show us so is the book cover you want is it e cover you want is it magazine cover you want is it book layout you want um is it logo and identity that you want logo design logo and brand identity pack and so on and so forth okay packaging and labeling so they can do packaging for you they can do labels for you and so on and so forth okay um, you can also talk to Jonathan Melody. Jonathan Melody is a member, of, a member of the Celebrity Society on Facebook. So you can go to the Celebrity Society, make a post, and say, "Hey, you know, Jonathan Melody, mention his name, tag him, so that he knows and um, that you want to talk to him, and, and he gets that notification, and say, "Hey, I, this is what I want to do. How much are you going to charge me?" Okay, to help me design it, and he's going to do it for you. Um, if you don't want to use it, or for some reason you just want to find more people who can design, you can just go on Facebook on the tablet and say, "Hey guys, tag me to a, a a badass designer that you know, graphic designer." So people who know some of them are going to tag you now before you hire them, and you will tell them to send you samples of what they have done in the past. All right so that's it now points to note you have to understand that when you're creating your product you do not need to write 600 pages you don't you know keep your information only long enough to cover what your buyers need to learn to solve your problem don't just write for writing sake alone if it needs to be only three pages please just stop at three pages i know someone that made millions of naira selling a three-page information product he made millions selling that product. Three pages only. Okay? If you're doing video, don't record 13 minutes videos, 40 minutes videos, just like I'm doing with this um, challenge. The reason why I'm recording videos that are this long on the challenge is because I, I need to you know, record faster and I don't want you to... It's not like a product that I'm selling per se, you know, I want you to be able to follow without having things break. But ideally, if you're doing video, break up your videos into five to 10 minutes chunks. If you're doing audio, make your audios to, yeah, in 20 to 30 minute chunks. If you are doing a webinar, a webinar is your info product that you're going to sell, don't do more than a hundred and, uh, don't do more than an hour, 30 minutes. Okay, because I've done a lot of webinars myself, and I noticed that once it exceeds one hour, people start getting tired. Once it exceeds, it exceeds one hour, 30 minutes, people become a whole lot tired, and, and you know, they begin to zone out. Okay. If you're doing a live event, also, depend, but depending on the content, it can last for between three to six hours every day, depending on how many days that you are doing the the live event. So guys, we come to the end of day five. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask. Over the last three videos, I've not seen any questions. Please bring in your questions, ask your questions. You have the chance to do that. Ask questions and I'm going to answer them. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you on day six, the video. Thank you.